Okay guys, we got it upstairs. As you can see, I haven't put the rest of it together. I thought it'd be lighter. It's still heavy. Um, I don't know if you can see, I got a clamp holding a piece of plywood on to give it a little extra protection. And uh, we're gonna try setting this old girl on there. So, wish me luck. <clears throat> okay. And I should put the piece of wood probably on the inside. That probably would have been smarter. Because that's where the screws are. Maybe we'll do that. Let's set this thing someplace. Stay put. Maybe just put a mark on here and shave that off on the bottom so maybe that'll fit. I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back at trying to bench press that lovely light 40 horse back on this thing. I'm thinking about Maybe trying to sneak this clamp in here. I'm not sure which way is better. Just to kind of keep that from moving around. So, not sure. Let's try it. Well, that was easier than I expected. That went on there pretty good. We'll tighten her up a little. Just a little cock on it. Okay, looks better. I think, guys. There we go. Ooh. So. We put her on there. I just figured it'd be a lot lighter to put on with the uh, flywheel and everything disconnected. Uh, make life a little bit easier. I can reassemble it here. Um, this is the first time the motor's ever been on it. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. I think that plate right here it's supposed to be level with the bottom of the boat. It's pretty close. It's a couple inches lower. But um, maybe an inch lower. But I'm definitely thinking the long shaft was the way to go. And uh, so pretty cool. Now I gotta get back to work. It's the old StarCraft.
got to paint the trailer. I already started it. I put a new uh, receiver ball thing there. New jack thing. That's all pretty good. It already has a, a nylon strap to hold it up in. But uh, this was the side of the windshield I cleaned up. That held up pretty good. You can see that line right there. That's where I stopped buffing. But I used uh, just automotive polish and buffed it with that. And uh, on the inside and the outside. And pretty, pretty darn clear. Um, steering wheel cleaned up pretty good. Uh, I got cables. All kinds of cables. I don't know if I got the right ones, but I got all kinds of them. So I figured between the set that was in the boat and the set that came with the big twin, we should have something. Um, so that's what it looks like on that side with the block, the piece of wood in there. See the original color. I wish it was still red. And there's the tag on it. You guys might be able to see that. So, kind of tough to read. 45 horsepower. One year warranty. So 64 W. 14 foot siren. So that's what that is. So anyway, um, I'm going to go get some parts. And... Uh, Get back to on this thing to get her together okay guys this is the first time I've cranked this motor over since the rebuild and we're gonna see what kind of compression we got um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay uh, the rings haven't seated in um, so I think it's only probably gonna get better with time but I don't know if you guys can see that we are zeroed out let's give it a crank <laughs> See if this thing can bounce out of here. Okay. You guys see that? Just a touch over 90 pounds on the bottom cylinder. That was uh, 80 pounds on the um, on the old motor. So and uh, I don't know what it was, to be honest with you, on the other motor, on this motor, I guess. I'm getting confused, but 40 pounds on the big twin. Now that this is a, it's kind of challenging to do with one hand. I don't have a carburetor on it, so she's wide open as much as we can get it. So we'll release that. It's a little over 90. It's probably about 95 pounds. So that's not too bad. Um, let's see if it coincides. That's what we're looking for, even. I would say that's pretty darn, darn close to being dead nuts even. I'm getting about 95, 96. So maybe a pound difference. So that's pretty darn good, I think. So um, uh, I'm, I'm pretty good with that. Like I said, I think it'll come up. Even if I can get 100, 100 pounds on this, uh, it wasn't bored. It was just honed with new rings. And uh, I think she'll, she'll run just fine. And... Uh, with 100, with 100 pounds, even 95. I've seen them run with 80 pounds. Um, these old engines aren't like the new engines. They uh, can have a little lower compression, I think, and run okay. So anyway, I'm gonna put the generator on this. As you can see, this has got the post on it for the generator. Um, so hopefully all will work well. Holy for shizzle, boys and girls. It actually looks like a freaking boat. When did that happen? Check that out. Let's get over here. Look at that. I, uh, 
I'll probably change the uh, head to the uh, or the cover the cowl to the big twin but um that that cowl for the big twin is it, it's not busted up or anything it's just faded out needs a paint job but um this lark has the uh, aluminum stainless trim on it which looks pretty cool you know it's got the raised Evinrude lettering so the, the Lark cover is kind of a nicer nicer cover so uh, I'm not sure I mean I do have the big twin cover so I'm not sure exactly which way I want to go with that but yeah I thought I'd throw the cover on it in case it rains um, I may put a trash bag over it don't know but uh yeah it almost looks like a boat still don't have the carburetor on it don't know if I told you that or not I'm getting tired it's about eight o'clock been out here for a few hours and uh, got a headache so <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching subscribing and commenting and we'll talk to you later bye